my love for hockey is no different. I love hockey just as much as I did last year. I love a certain situation I'm in with a level of success. But I feel like that really tests your love for the game. I mean, I still, I still love the game no matter what. But I'm playing it for, like, my team. That's what I'm playing for at this point. And I'm just playing for pride. I mean, yeah, we're 1-12. But, like, I love hockey, and I go out there every day, and I just want to get better, and I want to make a bigger impact every day. And that's what my goal is. I strive for perfection. Like I said, I want to, uh, that's what I try and do. Obviously, I know I can't be perfect. But if you strive for perfection, that's what's going to make you improve your game the most. Things might sound selfish, but somebody's better than me and they can make a bigger impact than me in a certain situation and I am 100% fine with them going in and better me in that situation. And if I'm better than somebody and I can make a better impact in that situation, then yeah, I want to be the guy that they go to. You know, I just want the team to have the best opportunity they can at, at succeeding all the time. Hockey to escape from everything, you know. If I could play hockey for 24 hours a day, I'd probably play hockey for 24 hours a day. Because when you're out on the ice, that's what you're safe. That's when you get to play the game you want. You don't have anyone uh, in your head just wanting it. I, mean, I don't want anything more. I, that's all I want. Like, I'd give anything to win. The want to win. I go out there and expect to win every time. No matter who we're playing, we could play the New England champions, and I'd expect to win 100%. And if we lose, that's like that's the worst thing that could possibly happen. And if we win, I felt like we did what we were supposed to do. You know, I'm not even celebrating. Like we just won. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go out and win the game. The first time I skated was when my dad built an out outdoor rink at home in our backyard. He was talking to me and my brothers, and I was like asleep on his shoulder pretty much. He said, "You guys gonna want to do this someday." So he built a backyard rink during the winter, and we went out in the ice, and I could not skate. And I was so mad, because Casey, my older brother, he was doing fine today. He could skate, and I, at one point, literally called it quits. And I took my skates off, and I was like, I'm just going to play in my boots out in the ice, because I can't skate. From the very beginning, my dad said, you're not going to get it unless you put the work in and do the little things. In life, it's the little things that count. If you don't put all the little things together, then the big things aren't going to happen. It's like in hockey, like one chip puck today at the blue line. One time hitting an empty net. One time blocking a shot. That's the difference between a win and a loss. One chip puck, that's it. And that's the difference between a win and a loss. It's all the little things, it's just like in life. If you're not gonna do the little things, do your homework every day, do your reading every day, then you're not gonna get an A in the class. If you're just gonna show up to the class, expect to get an A and not do anything outside of class, it's not gonna happen. If you, you can't just show up at the rink and just go through the motions while you're there and expect things are going to happen when you're not putting in work outside of it, when you're not mentally preparing yourself, when you're not staying focused. Hockey is a big reason why I question so many things because I want to I want to get better. Like it makes I just want to get better in everything I do. So then that started with hockey. Like hockey was just like that was just the first thing. And it's kind of always been there. And it's been like caused me to get into other things and really like take the same traits and same characteristics I had in hockey with just like the the work ethic and and being stubborn and like disciplined at the same time and just taking that into school work taking that into like daily life like socially like just trying to be the best person you can socially like I'm mad if I'm in a bad mood and I and I like don't say you know hello to a person and ask them how they're doing like I feel so guilty after like, I can be a better person than that. People think I'm a, like, a, like super stiff like and stubborn because like, I'm always asking questions. You know, I feel like I, f I feel like you have to argue to progress. I, I am super stubborn. But, I mean, like, like the questions will sometimes like seem rude. They're not meant to be rude. Like, I'm just trying to learn. I'm just trying to understand. It's like hockey is just this main path, like, down the middle of my life. And there's just like all these little paths stemming off of it. And that's the rest of my life. To me, it's not me playing the game. That's the most important thing to me. But it's what the game like has actually done for me in my life. I'm here where I am now because of family and hockey. <laughs> my family got me into hockey. And they've always been there. Always been supportive. 
always been pushing me to work my best and hockey is taking care of the rest of it because it just instilled in me all of these characteristics and traits that made me want to be the best I could be. Just just improve upon myself every day in every aspect of my life. And my dad and mom did so much to, you know, make sure they raised me the right way, make sure I was a respectable kid and boy and eventually man. I mean, our, our parents really like instilled that like just hard work was like, that's what that's where how you're gonna get somewhere. Like if you put the work in, you're gonna get rewarded. Hockey, I guess in a sense, like when I talk about it, it almost it almost does feel like like faith more so just like the center of like everything like the center of my universe where everything I have in my life kind of stemmed from it or every characteristic every trait I have I can kind of trace back to like hockey showed me that you have to control like what you can control I feel like that was the hardest lesson for me to learn I used to worry so much about other things in during games like what the refs were doing what the other team was doing, if the clock wasn't being run right. I felt like, you know, the universe is just trying to stack up stuff against us. You can only control yourself. That's all you can control. And that's like one thing I learned. I can't control what the refs are thinking, what the other team is thinking, and I can't control what the fans are doing. I can't control anything, so why even worry about it? Just worry about myself, worry about my team, and worry about how I'm affecting my team. Hockey, sure enough, is the reason why I'm at a boarding school and it was the best thing that I could ever have possibly happened to me because I've grown so much as a human being here and I feel like I've grown so much as a man, as an independent person at this school because hockey got me here. I wouldn't be here otherwise and I wouldn't have become this man I am today if hockey didn't get me to the place where I am. Like all these things I was given because of, because of hockey. It just opened me up to so many different things. It, opened up, it allowed me to get so many different opportunities. And now I realize things that I like never would have thought that I liked. Or never would have even thought that like I could do. I just, like, I want to make a difference. That's the biggest thing. I don't know what to do. But I know that whatever I'm going to do, I have hockey and I have my family to thank for. And that's it. Like you just gotta work until like it hurts so bad, your body's telling you to stop and you just keep going. You just keep going because that's what your spirit's telling you to do.